Hey guys, this is my baby, and this is a Raspberry Pi Artnet Gateway. And you may be wondering what this is and why would you use it, but let me tell you. Let's go. So, alright, this is the article I am linking to. Uh, it is on Google, and I will link it in the description below. Uh, if you want directions of how to do this, I'm not going to go over that in this video because it's complicated and I don't feel like it. But here is the Raspberry Pi Artnet game. Okay, so there are a few things that this thing can do that are super duper cool. So, first of all, it is able to take um, DMX signal from your computer uh, and it will take it to the Raspberry Pi, it will process it, it will do all that stuff. And send it into DMX, which is something a stage light can read, basically. So yeah, that's super cool, and that's what they, not this specific thing, but that's what they use in like concerts and stuff. They have a big thing that comes out of lighting console, big cable, that goes to one of these, but it has multiple outputs to the lights, and it just makes everything so much easier. Instead of having like multiple cables coming out of the console, it's just one. So the reason this thing is it's so great is it saves a lot of money instead of getting a uh, Artnet node or something off of Amazon. That will be thousands of thousands of dollars. You can get this, this is probably about $70, $20 for the DMX adapter, $35 for the Raspberry Pi, let's just say $10 for the uh, power supply, but super cheap and super great at the same time. Yeah. So let me show you how the software OLA works. Okay, so as you can see, our Raspberry Pi is almost booted up, as you can tell by the green light. Again, I'm not gonna go over all of that stuff here. But if we grab our iPad, here you type in our IP address of it, you go to port 9090. As you can see, it loads in to the web server of this app. So I just click the um, new mode, so much easier. Then we'll go to plugins, reload plugins, then we'll refresh the page, maybe, fix it. Okay, as you can see, we have loaded into the web server of this. Um, I'm in the new web server mode. I just think it's cleaner and better and easier to use. So as you can see, we have our, uh, we have our universes all set up here. This is just pre-configured. I'll configure one just for all right, so to configure universe, you can either be on the main screen or whatever, you just click add new universe, obviously. Uh, you can do whatever you want in. So if you want ESPNet, uh, SACN, uh, you can do ARTNET, pretty much whatever you want. Another DMX console, you can just do that. And we'll type in the name, what you want to name it. Name it. And then what we want the universe ID to be. So this will be the universe number. Um, I'm just going to do 512 because I can. So, and then output, I'll just do our USB device that is connected to the Pi. So as you can see, there's no data being sent to it. And that's fine because I don't have anything to figure for that. So if you delete it, we'll just deselect all of those and I'll go. So if you go back to our main one, this is called light key names. And yeah, theoretically, there should be DMX data being sent to it in just a minute. So let me go turn that off. We'll get some DMX data. As you can see, we are, we are sending DMX data over the wireless network, like a, over the router, or whatever. And we are getting 24 channels because that's the free mode and I don't want to pay any money. So that's that. So as you can see, our channels are doing different things. I'm running different test pallets on them. But basically this is what it is, and then as you can see, well you can't really see this, but it is outputting DMX data, which is perfect. So this is saving a lot of money because you don't need a USB to DMX. I mean you still do, but if it's not if there's not one that's compatible with your software, you can just use it with this and it will work because it's compatible with the Raspberry Pi most likely. So it's kind of like a back way to do it, but it works great. And there's all these plugins you can run on it. I'm only running a few, because that's really all I need. I don't need much more than that. And I have a bunch of different um, bunch of different universes set up. 
So this is what this one's cool. This is called the Photon. It's an iPad app. As you can see if I find that here, go here. And then just start doing stuff like change the moving heads. Let's just do that. As you can see, we're sending PMX data over that, the wireless network. Uh, it works great. I've had no problems running it over Wi-Fi. Uh, I do see that it's better with Ethernet plugged into it, but if you don't have that, it'll work just fine. So yeah, this is the OLA server running on the Raspberry Pi. It works great and super reliable. Like I said, I'll link the article of how you install all of it like that. I'll link that in the description. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.